Hey y'all, so today I have another furniture painting um, project for you guys. Um, this is actually a hutch that my husband's nanny passed down to us. Um, obviously it's two pieces. This does sit on top of this, but I've just got it broken down um, to paint. It is in pretty rough shape, um, and I really want this to be really chippy, distressed, um, rustic looking because that is kind of our style and because it's in such bad shape. I'm just going to kind of go along with that. I am going to be using the original hardware because again I kind of want to keep it um, like antique uh, vintage looking so I do intend to use the same hardware. Um, now normally I would paint the inside of this but I just realized that this actually isn't uh, real wood it's almost like a particle board inside here and it's just going to soak up the paint so I'm not going to paint the inside of this obviously I will be painting um, all around it all the shelves inside underneath this will be uh, fully painted so the paint I'm going to be using today is you already know my all-time favorite is the Dixie Belle paint and this is in the color fluff so this is a chalk mineral paint this stuff is by far the best paint I've ever used. Um, I have a video linked down below, one of my very first videos. Um, I also have it up here for you guys, but I kind of go more in depth um, over this paint in the beginning because it was the first time using it. But this paint, it doesn't require any priming, sanding. All I've done is wipe this down to make sure it uh, doesn't have any dust or lint or anything like that on it. So you don't need to prime, you don't need to sand, you can go straight in. Obviously, I'm painting indoors. There's no fumes um, that you have to worry about. It dries super fast, and two coats will give you full coverage. So pretty much all you need for this is your paint. Um, and a little bit goes a long way. Like, this is overkill. This, I actually got to do this and then two other dressers. Um, a paintbrush um, and a sanding block to go back in to do your distressing with. Um, and then obviously if you wanted to replace the knobs, you would need new knobs. I do go over how to do that in that video that I'll have linked for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to lay this piece down. You'll see me laying this piece down to get to it. Just, it'll be easier to get underneath. Um, so first things first, I'm going to take the knobs off and get to it. And I'll just speed everything up as usual for you guys. And...
tell my style of painting is called slap it on um, I'm super messy you know our style is very farmhouse vintage um, chippy looking um, if you want to call it that so especially with a piece of furniture that has this many defects I just slap it on because I'm gonna end up going into distressing it anyways so my style is more um, the more sloppy the better I know that doesn't suit everybody's taste but that is how um, I like my furniture so I just slap it on um, this is one coat and it's already dry so pretty much I'm gonna circle back around and do a second coat um, and then we'll come back in and distress everything and obviously you just kind of want to go in the direction of the wood you know I make sure that I don't have any paint clumped anywhere but the benefit of this paint is you can be sloppy with it and just Kind of go with it obviously if this isn't your style you want to do more smooth um, strokes and be more careful with it but on to the second coat
I'm back. I've got all the um, paint off of my hands and feet. Another benefit to this paint is it literally comes off with water. It's so easy. Um, so I decided last minute, well, actually my husband came in and looked at it and said I should probably paint the hardware black. So after going back and forth, um, I decided on black. They're spray painted. He spray painted them for me. They're over there drying. So I've just got to wait for those to dry before we put them on. So I'm going to go ahead and just start distressing. And I'm just going to use a sandpaper block. I don't know what grit this is, honestly. Um, so yeah, if obviously if you want a more lighter finish, you're going to use a lighter um, grit sandpaper. If you want a heavier duty, then use heavy duty. You know the drill. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start distressing. This is the fun part and where it really just comes to life. So when I distress, I really like to hit where it's naturally going to um, like wear. So on the edges, the corners, the feet, um, and then I like to go in like around the detail to just kind of bring out the detail. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I just grabbed a few things. This is just one of the discs that goes on my um, electric sander and then I think this is a more... Um, stronger coarse grit so let's give this a try first done with the distressing. Um, I'll show you up close um, once everything's put together and the hardware is on and everything. But now I just like to wipe everything down with a cloth, get all the dust off. And um, I get asked a lot if I seal my furniture. So for the most part, no. Um, because I like the more distressed look, I'm not trying to necessarily preserve it. Um, so to speak, but I do use the Easy Peasy Wax by Dixie Bell as well, um, and it's just a clear matte spray wax. Um, I wouldn't say it necessarily seals it, it just kind of gives it a good, um, how do I even say it? You basically spray it on and wipe it off. It's basically spray wax, I don't know what else to say, <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily seal it. It does say it um, repels dust, dirt, grime, contains carnauba wax, odor-free, water-based, eco-friendly. So you just spray this on, spray it, and then wipe it off. So I'm going to give it a good wipe down first, and then I'm going to go through and use my spray wax. Okay, here is the final piece. Just wanted to show you kind of up close. Is it being distressed now? I'm so glad. Um, my husband talked me into painting those matte black. They look so good. This turned out so much better than I even expected. So that is it after. I cannot wait to get it moved into our new house. All right guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment if you have any questions. Bye, guys.